Hey guys, just a guy here with another episode of Subtech. Uh, today we're going to be finishing for our flame grilled whopper. I got some stuff set together. I'm breeding up some cows because today we're going to be making uh, buffalo. Now, before we do that, there's one thing we want to make, and that's a rattle. Um, I'm not sure if you need it or not, but it does make all songs easier the more instruments you use. So, this is just uh, sugar canes and bones to make a jingle. Got some bones. Oh, when I start putting these shelves up, I think I did it the, after last episode. Of all the commonly used items that I could think of, anyway. Now, I think this is the right thing. Oh, and my crafting table here broke off the screen. It's like an anvil, it's limited number of uses, I guess. And we do this. Yeah. No more inventory problems, hopefully. Okay, my bad. Obviously, it's the other way around. There we go. I hope, anyway. There we go, we got our jingle. Now we just need some sticks, I believe. Don't have any sticks. Let's put them all away. All right. There we go. Oh, we get a totem pia for free when you do that. Okay. That's very weird. So the one I made was pointless. I guess if I'd made the rattle first, I wouldn't have had to. So let's just put our book up there for now. And then wind chime if we can i think so i believe it's just bones and stuff or jingles as well string flint sticks yeah so we need sticks like i said you don't absolutely need all these um some of them are required for different songs but the main thing if i can click there we go is the more instruments you have, the easier it is to complete these ceremonies. Um, because there's a cooldown on every instrument. There we go. And then we need a piece of flint. Oh, by the way, over here, I put some of these flint blocks down. I thought they looked kind of cool. They kind of look like a thing. So the other cool thing is you can put anything in these things. And if you take them out, like, 30 seconds later you get experience points even if they can't be cooked like stone um what was I gonna go for can't remember oh yeah the bones and stuff bones either side right I think I oh, know it's these on the other side. Can't wait for a real crafting table, guys. Get out of there. Come on, bones. There we go. I already had my rock, okay. Alright, so there we got our chimes. Now, we have a block. I think it has to be a leaf or wood block. I don't know if it tells you in the description. Guess not. I swear it had to be a, a tree or a leaf block. I, I didn't think you could just put up a piece of wood. Um, stuff but you just want it to be near where you're doing your ceremony so I'm just gonna do one over here really janky and then we get our stuff together so what we want to do by the way I, I did 
a couple breedings I used a total of eight wheat and never did it not take my wheat when I did that sprite of spring song so I don't know what's going on there I swear it was different before they just bred automatically and I got luck going just in case it increases the drop rate of items um, but now we need to make buffalo so the song is Oh yeah, so we want a rattle, we want this in our offhand, and then we want an empty slot next to it so we can hit things. The flute has to be in the offhand, the rattle doesn't work in the offhand if I remember right. And as you can see, that blows sometimes just on its own. So, ceremonies, buffalo dance, buffalo dance, drum and then chime. So we did need the chimes. Alright, here we go again. So I messed up. You can't have the flute in your offhand, obviously, when you're trying to start with the drum. Um, the default thing, I think, is F, but it's in conflict with things. So if you push Z, it'll switch things between your offhand and not, is what I switched it to. But you can switch to anything you want. So you need a blank hand to shift-click the drum, shift-click the chimes, and then you have to quickly put this in your hand and then start doing your dance. And as you can see, the dance goes up pretty easily with all these instruments. The chimes blow on their own thing. So only one or two of them got hit by that. I don't know if it was a line of sight thing. But I'm going to do the dance again. And we'll have to wait for them to grow up, unfortunately, too. Shift. Now I don't have fences, that's why all my cows are in the ground. I I had much better chances with them before. But now that they can't be seen by the totems, I don't know if that's the reason why they aren't all changing. I guess it only does two at a time. I swear in the last playthrough it did all the cows in the area. That's actually kind of annoying. Because, uh... Oops. Hey guys, so yeah, I got the buffalo tooth accidentally and the advancement of ancient animals because uh, when the buffaloes grow up, they become like two blocks high instead of one. So it suffocated itself to death on one of these grass blocks I had down a layer, so it killed itself. But a couple of them are big now. Um, I'm kind of hoping the luck thing will give me looting or something to that effect. Now, the, they're not all adults, so i got to be careful here. And they have a lot of hit points, too. But this one's almost dead. If I can find it, there we go. Now I do so little damage. That might have been a baby. I mean, it looks like an adult. Here we go. So we got two. Yeah, I don't think looting's working. And how many do we need for these uh, wooden gears? By the way, you can spam things like the wind chimes. You can have like six, eight, ten, or whatever in the area around you, and it does help the songs. Yeah, we need four per one gear. That's kind of crazy. So you get one per buffalo. You can breed buffalo. Um, I wasted most of my gra or wheat on trying to get them to grow. But we'll see how this goes. I think I killed a cow there. Yeah, I'm not doing too good. Three. Not sure what's a baby, what's an adult. That's a baby, probably. I can make a more advanced thing with punji sticks later. I just don't have access to enough hoppers. Um, but, because they're a pain to make. But you can have punji sticks set at like two right here at this height. This is this grass block. 
and the adults when they grow will kill themselves but the babies can walk around underneath it so we got four of these one one two three four the funny thing is it's so easy to make a wooden thing once you get out of this age uh, here's our cedar I think that's how it works this should almost be there we almost got oh, unfortunately I think we might need two gears recipes yeah stage zero is all we got so this I thought we needed a wooden gear oh yeah for the freaking millstone handle which is not my thing is messed up I, I shouldn't have saddles and stuff in my thing my things got corrupted or something um handle or hand crank good we only need one so any cobblestone and two sticks cobblestone and then sticks Come on. Oh, that's in the wrong spot. Do not want that. Like that. I think the gear goes in the bottom. That is should be it. There we go. And crank. Now we shift click to put this on, right? Yeah. And you gotta do it a couple times. It looks like it's four hand cranks. And wow, it takes like a full hunger every time you crank it. Now it takes five. And it just randomly shoots it out because it's awesome like that and then if you're absolutely starving you can't turn it at all now this is actually kind of useful in that if you want to build up nutrition in a specific item it makes you hungry and you can't eat without being hungry normally except for occasional junk foods like french fries and stuff so it's, it actually is kind of useful at building up your nutrition in a specific area let alone all the areas. Like, it's actually hard unless you have a really diverse food. Oh, there's no more charcoal in there. So what else can we make in the millstone? Well, you also have cobblestone. I was grinding it over here for little rods, but it's taking forever. So let's put that down. Cobblestone. And I believe this makes uh, stone rods. Looks like it takes five cranks for everything. And that might be super loud in recording, I'm not sure. Seems loud to me. Uh, sound. I don't think it's those uh, blocks. Try 70%. I honestly didn't make a difference to my ears, but hopefully it's not too bad. And yeah, give me a stone rod. Which can make stairs, or ladders rather. But anyways, so we got our charcoal dust. Now we need a shark tooth. And... Oh, we might need more charcoal actually, if we want to make two of these. But I can do that later. So, rock time. flame grill goodness so these are really good for a lot of things we take get rid of this 
Get rid of this. So I want two of them again later, but for now we want one so they don't catch fire of anything else. So we'll put it that way. And then we'll just put a chest out of there. Actually, can make primal chest now if I wanted to. Actually, I need to make one at least for the advancement, I think. There we go. So the outputs it there. And then all we need to really do is tear down our house further, such as it is. And hopefully have our regular hopper. No, of course not. We'll just take a chest. Actually, we're going to make a primal chest. So let's go primal chest real quick, because it's much easier when you're dealing with something above it. Which is just a chest, dark oak wood planks, and any plank wood. I, I For some reason, I thought it was more complicated than that. So I thought it was bark or something. Dark oak planks. Come on. I hate this table. Auto step doesn't help either. And then any planks. We have more than enough planks. My horsey thing has been really working at it. This is the basic one. So we want to put that up here. But we want a placer block. That's where the hopper is going to be. The Vance chest is a little better. Remember, too, the cool thing about these is they don't need a ceiling to open. You can have a block right above it. So let's make a hopper real quick. That's a good way to get rid of your old garbage chest. Is these them in some crafting recipes that take it. I hope this one works. So Mark II is a bit more annoying to make. So shift click into there, and then we should be able to just make a bunch. Uh, where's our wood? Can we chop it all up? Oh, I got 63 minus 3. Okay. So that goes in there. It does take it out. It puts it in there. It cooks it, and then it comes out here. Such as it is when it's done. Can't remember how long it takes. There we go. Come on. A little gray charcoal. And then if you had another one here, it would feed into that one. It would do a hopper chain just like normal. So yeah, guys. Uh... Not the most epic thing ever. I'm definitely going to have to improve my buffalo situation. At least until I get out of this age. I am almost there. I just need the uh, melter and stuff. Now these are actually easier. The heater and the melter. Um, you can do porcelain. Which is like clay and bone meal. Clay, blown moon, flint, I didn't remember that. Which is a bit annoying because... Oh, you can do white powder. I thought you had to use bone meal previously. Um, Still easy to get it from bone meal, though. But you have to grind it down several times at either the horse grindstone or this. Or you can use grout. Which is made from sand, clay, and gravel. Which... Is a little bit more resource intensive, 
Um, but it doesn't require you to use the grindstone or anything a million times. And luckily, most of it comes right here. You get sand from the dense strainer and then uh, gravel and clay from the other one. So you want to have two of these strainers going and then you'll have a bunch of that resource automatically. I think I have quite a bit of sand lying around. Yeah. Oh, I put it over here. So I already have 50 sand, not counting what's in there. And then several gravel. And a couple of these flint blocks. Which you can use in the millstone to make two flint each. Instead of the one for that strainer thing you got in the beginning. So yeah, guys, I'm going to gather all that stuff up to make grout for the next episode, and I'll see you then. But this is just a guy off, and man, does it suck not to have a roof, guys. Catch you guys later. Bye. Hey, guys, this is a bit of a correction. I made some pretty big mistakes, so I'm going to splice this into the episode somehow. Um, first of all, I finally figured out how the Walt stance works, um, or the Rite of Spring. So first... You do have to start it, right? And then you sing your dance. With the chimes and all that, it goes pretty quickly. Now, if the animals are able to breed, it doesn't make them breed, like I thought. You can take some of the food they'll eat and toss it near this thing, and they'll breed. If it's on the ground near the totem, they'll breed. Now the thing about this is sometimes it doesn't take the food. So you see there's still three pieces down there even though all the animals in here bred. Yeah, also the mistake I've seen is you can tell these super huge things are the adults. I thought the other ones were the adults. I thought there was a stage between the baby and the adult and I think I recognize that. That's why I was only getting one tooth. Um, if you kill an adult, you get meat. Which is like the best food there is for now. And then I should get a hide. Unless I missed it. Hmm. Maybe it's just randomly chance that you don't always get it. Let's try this again. They even have the little luck thing, whatever it does. I don't know if it's looting or just, uh... There we go. We got a two teeth that time and one meat. Still no hide. Usually you get a buffalo hide. But I guess it's not 100%. But yeah, so you can get more than one tooth from the actual adults. And as you can see, that guy's suffocating. Because he's hitting that, I think. So my little pen is not the best. But it's actually a decent way to kill these guys automatically. Um, if you had hoppers underneath to pick it up, you just have a block there so they suffocate. But yeah, guys, I just wanted to show you guys that because uh, I messed that up pretty bad.